Welcome to a very explosion of a Christmas, our podcast dedicated to the merriest of holidays. The festive season with films about Santa Snow or being left home alone. Time of year, we all come together and argue about what are the best Christmas cookies. I'm your host, Ashley Hobley, and helping me grow my heart three sizes with Christmas cheer is Dylan Blight. Oh, uh, oh I'm sorry. Um, hi. <laughs> Exciting. We're here talking about the first Christmas movie of the season. Mm. If one stacked with them. Uh, so yes, today we're talking about the new uh, Prime Video slash Freebie film. Yeah, it's an American thing. It's an American thing. Uh, Xmas. So please be aware we'll be disc- freely discussing anything and everything about pop themes at any of the movie. So if you haven't watched it, come back later. With that said, let's jump into our discussion of Xmas. Al, I love you so much. <laughs> So, are you and Graham talking anymore? No. His family, on the other hand, I miss them. Hiya, sweetie. We're so excited that you're coming for Christmas. I can't come home this year. I'm sorry. I have a deadline. You know what? I think this is about Allie because she ripped out my heart, stomped on it. Oh, okay. Surprise! (gasps) Graham, what are you doing here? I found all of these in the back closet. What are you doing here? I thought you said he was working. Is that Ali? Shut up. You're kind of freaking out. You invited my ex-fiance to Christmas. You know, I really should go. You're not going anywhere. I have to get mom and dad to dump Ali. Otherwise, I'm going to be sharing my family forever. (laughs) Oh, my God. My family will work up the courage to ask you to leave before Christmas morning. Do you want to bed? You're gone. Sam, how do we feel about a game night tonight? It's directed by Jonah Feingold, written by Dan Steele, starring Leighton Meester, Robbie Amell, Michael Hitchcock, Catherine Greenwood, Veronica Slikowska, Stephen Hugh, Thomas Cardo, and Donna Benedicto. When Graham decides to surprise his family by traveling home for Christmas, he is shocked to discover them already celebrating with an unexpected guest of honor, his ex fiance Ali. The two exes battle it out to see who the film will pick to stay through Christmas Day and who must go. Let the holiday chaos begin. Now, Dylan, last year, films would either be on the naughty or the nice list. Mm. This year, I've changed the rating scheme. Whoa. Is Xmas a present, a stocking stuffer, or a piece of coal? Xmas is a present. Ooh. I think this is probably one of the best christmas movies i've watched in a few years wow that's wow i'm starting strong starting this season strong starting this season strong i really really enjoyed this i went into this thing this was going to be bad 100 percent admit like i saw the poster i saw robbie and mel nothing against robbie and mel but i'm like just thinking mediocre right i'm just thinking mediocre <laughs> nothing <rom-com>. against <laughs> robbie and mel but i saw his face on the poster and thought immediately this movie is going to be a mediocre. I'm just thinking mediocre rom com Christmas sort of shit, right? I'm thinking paint by numbers. I've seen it all before. This is going to be like whatever. And to a degree, this movie is what you've seen before. I guess you know it is the the ultimately it's like you know a couple fighting, but you know they're going to get together by the end of it. You know how it's all going to play out for the most part. But if it doesn't all do it just so fucking well. Um, with charm and just like so many jokes that really worked for me like i did not think this movie was going to be as funny as what it was and this movie was very fucking funny i thought um lots of jokes mostly thanks to just in part the chemistry between the two leads but also just the chemistry between the entire family um especially the parents so michael hitchcock and Catherine greenwood who were fucking fantastic as both uh in both of their roles and then ultimately it just delivers what i feel like you'd want out of a christmas movie which is it is a lot of fun and just spreads the message about you know being a good person is good and you know life's better when you share it with a family be that you know a, a real one or a fake one or you know whatever it's a general sort of thing but yeah i i really really enjoyed this uh, I really enjoyed it as well. I think it's probably still a stocking suffer, though, in the middle. Whoa! 
uh, you know, it's still good. You still enjoy getting it. But am I going to watch it next year? Probably not. Um, I'm going to watch it again this year. I thought it was pretty fucking funny. It, it's, it's enjoyable. I had a great time watching it. Uh, I'm a Leighton Mister fan of her comedic work. I loved her in Single Parents, so seeing her in something like this is really fun. I didn't. I don't immediately associate Robbie Mel with me. <laughs> to be fair, I've not watched much Robbie Mel in any movies, but um, yeah, I think you know. Obviously, it is uh, you know a story we've kind of seen before. Well, yeah, I guess we've kind of seen stories of people's exes showing up at Christmas when they least expect it and that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's interesting that as it is set at Christmas and that kind of stuff, I don't think Christmas it is necessarily a Christmas movie. It's definitely a story of two people reconnecting and kind of finally coming yeah, to terms I, I mean, with their issues. A lot of the rom-com Christmas movies are really yeah. not Christmas movies. They're just yeah. built around, yeah, so. Around the season, yeah. um, as an excuse. But yeah, there's a lot of fun to be had there, whether it's them, the the two uh, new love interests that they deal mm. with in this movie. Uh, one who is part of a throw up a, an open relationship, I guess. Or <laughs> yeah. And the other who is just really, really into selling cars. Like yeah, He's a great salesperson. He's number one he's, salesperson. He's like very confusing. Like... Yeah. <laughs> Which this is Minnesota, they live in LA. I'm pretty sure they're very far away. How are you mm. supposed to get a car back? Um, but yeah, the family dynamic was really fun. I love the the sister was really a great uh, yeah character uh, bounce off something or other. Yeah, um, she's fantastic, and yeah, like you said, the parents like really loving the relationship, and when they finally get to like the uh, emotional moments or like the emotional core of the movie um, with the mother like giving the speech at the st- or like the talk at the start of Christmas Day uh, while Leighton Meester's character is hiding in bed uh, talking about their own personal relationship and of course you get the the moment where the dad has a heart attack on Christmas Day um, yeah I thought all of that was really fantastic mm. um, and also the running gag of the baby Jesus constantly being the baby Jesus and honestly I got right to the end of the movie and I for a split second I'm like holy fuck I can't they believe they, they, had, <laughs> they had this weird subplot for no reason. And then, yeah, the payoff, I was like, you know what? All right, cool. Yeah, I like how it was just such dogs. a red herring. Like, <laughs> this is going to be important part of the Like, movie. one of these like, is stealing they're, the they're baby They're going to blame, they're going to make it, like, at first I was like, the baby Jesus is going to keep getting stolen, and one of them's going to turn into a real fucking asshole and <laughs> somehow make the mum believe that the other one stole it, and that's going to be the breaking point, Um, is how I took it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it just turns out to be such a red herring. It has like it's just not important at all <laughs> until yep. the last. Yeah. Uh, can I, I also address the one thing that kind of really annoyed me about this movie? Well, the the game development, <laughs> video game development in this movie is just it shitty the, app games. <laughs> the shitty app game that needed to be made for Christmas. That one person was responsible for. Only one yep. person was working on this game. Yep. Uh, the designer. The yep. designer of the game was the one person responsible for getting this game finished by Christmas. Yep. Ridiculous. I give it passes because I've seen how Amazon works on video games. <laughs> they don't know how they made either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is, you know, maybe that's a lived experience that one person yeah. is responsible for yeah, making That's the problem, you know, so. Um, but yeah, that was... Vr- there was a whole bunch of people in that Christmas party. Why aren't no, any of them working? They're all working out? on different shitty mobile games, you know? <laughs> Every single one of them. And it, it, it looked like a shitty mobile game. Yeah, it, it really did. Awful. Um, yeah, any other highlight moments you want to bring up? When they went sh- uh, when they went like uh, fishing in the, the frozen hole, I thought that was pretty funny. Yes. Them fighting over the heater. Can we also yep. address the brother, who they never discuss is clearly adopted? <laughs> I don't think I need to. There's, I, I, I definitely. No, it's just a weird. Is... It's weird, but also he introduces himself as their firstborn son. So yeah, I, I don't know. Like that's the thing. I feel like you're like you're like this. Yeah, this is where I'm like this movie isn't very Christmas is he, but it, like it's super like it, in what I would believe is like super like in my own like Christmas values is like it's definitely all about yeah. family, but. It's yeah. not like a, any definition of family, and also let's not forget. Like again, the movie also has like a, a you know, like the sisters, 
bi and like that's not really a main plot point it's just a is she bi plot i point. thought she's just lesbian or was she i thought she was going with it or maybe she's just gay then whatever no her um, girlfriend was the... heather yeah, yeah i both thought yeah. i thought there was a, a scene where they mentioned she had a boyfriend but maybe not um but yeah like there's there's definitely like a lot of elements of this where it's like well you know probably an adopted gay yeah. gay daughter like none of these are brought up as like traumatic plot points they're all no. yeah, it's a pretty, very supportive a, family very supportive uh, even though, loving you family. know they love their landline phone which you know. it's very funny though. i tell yeah it's, very funny. <laughs> it's proven that you know the landline sounds better clearly not not when you're both yelling into it like But that. I also, speaking of the brother, I loved his just brutal honesty. Like, mm. we're here at the, 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 uh, the, uh, the bar or whatever because, you know, our parents are celebrating an anniversary. They're just having yeah. sex at home. So we stay here to yeah. stay out here so we don't. Stay here well. Yeah. It's fair. It's just it's honestly. Yeah. Honestly, it takes uh, you a long way. So it does. And then I love the, uh, the butter gag with the cookies. Mm. I don't know if they would hit that hard. Because they didn't, like, they only had, like, half a cookie. No, it like, wouldn't. Bang. But it's very funny. Either way. It is so. very funny. I honestly, going into this movie, I thought this must be, just be a PG movie or whatever. Um, I don't know what it would actually be rated. I didn't. I never pay attention to ratings anymore. But, like, I didn't expect it to be as adult as it was. Hmm. Yeah. You know? Does Prime give you ratings? Um, If we if I go to Prime. I don't Prime, think so. I've never actually looked. I will say, I don't think they went hard enough on the rivalry between them. You know, there are like a couple of digs that the other Yeah, but the thing is, if them. you go too far, then the like, characters they can't become come unredeemable back, and stuff. Uh, it's rated M, so there you go. Okay. On Prime, anyway. That's on Prime. Got there, so. um, but yeah, you know. I enjoyed it. I, it was a good time. Very funny. I really, really liked it. I, I, I think yeah. this is one of the funniest Christmas movies I've watched in at least a few years. And, you know, they, they talk out their problems, which was really nice. And, like, uh, mm. of course, it ends the way you expect with them back together. Uh, no, it doesn't end just... the way to want, which didn't end the way I expected, which is just the fucking um, getting ultimate revenge, like inviting the ex-girlfriend. That was quite funny. Oh, the the very bad <laughs> epilogue, <laughs> yeah. the epilogue, the setting up for Xmas 2. Yeah. You you don't think there's going to be a Xmas Maybe. 2 in the near future? It depends how well it, it's... How, 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 how many people watch this? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's kind of what they're setting up with that uh but yeah (laughs) really nice touch because you you have this really nice scene where they're all walking inside the house carrying the presents you just bought her the food truck cut to another year forward they've got a baby uh and she's he's invited the oftenly mentioned heather throughout Mm. the film so yeah in my mind also one of my other favorite scenes before we begin wrapping up here was just the board game scene because that was that, that was good shit. The werewolf. It's like yeah. going eight, a, a, extra hard. Like you wouldn't lie, would you? No, I never lied. And it's just, and it's just like the mom getting so upset because she played the game. <laughs> like the, no, because she indi- used the name of the spirit of Christmas. Yeah, yeah, the spirit you of know? Christmas. Yeah, you're just obsessed with Christmas. You know. Yeah. Oh dear. Well, yeah. It's like, oh, why would Same. you do that? Like, it's a terrible thing to say. Yeah, it's a terrible thing to say. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Shit. It was good shit. All right. Let us know what you thought of Xmas by going to explosion.com slash Twitter or jump to Discord at explosion.com slash Discord. If you want to help us out here, what do you want to watch? Uh, if you want to help us out here at a very Explosion Network Christmas, leave us a review on Apple Podcasts or on Podchaser. Leave us five stars. Any of you can leave five stars or just tell people about the show. And if you've enjoyed this episode, Thor's worth a dollar, head on over to our co page at explosion.com slash support. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Until next time, remember, respect the genes.